size that we want. Perfect. Hello, my name is Andrew Price. Uh, some of you remember me from the A to Z of bushcraft. Uh, this is an entirely new series we're putting together which will look at bushcraft skills, but we're also looking at cycle touring and lots of other out outdoor activities. Uh, the one activity I've been wanting to show you for a while is a method of fire lighting which I think is fantastic. It's uh, very, very simple and provided that you have two basic chemicals, you're all set. So um, just to go into it on its most basic level, the first chemical that we're gonna talk about is a powerful oxidizer known as potassium permanganate. Now this stuff, uh, we'll have to get you a close up of this in a second, but uh, it comes in a crystal form, sometimes a very sort of fine dust-like form. It's a purple color and it can be used to purify water as well, so it definitely has a place in a survival kit or a first aid kit. It can be used to make a wound wash with a concentrated solution that can be used to treat wounds. It can also be used in a more dilute version as a water purifier to, to make water safe to drink. So um, generally we would put just a few small crystals in a litre of water to turn it a light pink colour if we're planning on drinking the water. And if we're planning on using it as a wound wash, we'd want a, a darker purple colour. So uh, it's very easy to, to regulate the use of this. Some of you that are old enough will remember dentists often had a glass of pink stuff next to you when you have your fillings done and things like that. And that stuff is potassium permanganate in water, so it was there to wash your mouth out to prevent infection. Good stuff. Now, in order to use this stuff as a fire lighter, we need to uh, explore its oxidizing properties. So it reacts violently with glycerine, which is a, a useful uh, reaction because glycerine is a very common ingredient in things like antifreeze, brake fluid and hydraulic fluid. So if you're in a plane crash, a uh, car accident, somewhere in the middle of a remote area, provided that you have potassium permanganate and access to a glycerine based chemical, then uh, you can light a fire. So I'll just quickly show you how we use this. Taking just a small amount of the potassium permanganate, half a teaspoon, thereabout. Keep the potassium permanganate away. Hydraulic brake fluid is a glycol based or glycerin based and uh, works incredibly well to react with potassium permanganate to light a fire. You can either use a little dropper like this or just a twig to drip a few drops of the glycerine on top of the potassium permanganate. Keep your face well back when you're doing this because it can react quite violently and then just stay back away from it. This is where the power of the mind comes in. We need to focus. Aha! And here we have it. Incre incredible amounts of heat. That exothermic reaction really gets hot. So you don't want to be anywhere near that when it goes, but this is a really easy way of lighting a fire, provided that you have these chemicals with you. such intense heat, you should be able to get a fire going under most circumstances, as long as you're prepared and you've got your kindling at the ready as well. By far the easiest fire lighting technique I know. 